Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I am down at the AT&T Stadium for the RV party by Funtown doing a whole bunch of videos. So there's gonna be a lot of good stuff coming out here on the channel. But this is the 2024 Aspen Trail 421 loft. And this floor plan is gonna look pretty similar to you because there's a lot of people that are starting to catch on to this trend because it is selling quite well and it's suitable for a larger family. Like for instance, myself, I got four kids and you know, having the, the dual lofts is a really nice feature to have. Plus you have a big L couch, electric fireplace, a nice spacious room uh, for the ones that are gonna be paying for the RV. But let's check it out, see what you think. Drop comments along the way. Let me know how you like their version of this. 2024 Aspen Trail 421 loft. Um, if you are more interested in, you know, some quicker tours or anything like that, I also feature those on my channel. And of course, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you know, the works there. But right when you walk in, pretty, pretty light and bright decor. But I mean, you got, well, sort of, I don't know why I just said that. It's got gray tones, light tones, brown tones. It's got it all. I can see somebody like my personally, I really like it. I could see some people maybe not liking it, but uh, pretty darn sharp looking. They're also going to for the kind of affordability factor. So you have the hard plastic wrap counters there. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Saving money, saving space on weight. Super slide starts here and goes all the way over there, but you're gonna get a big viewing window here right behind your L couch, which is pretty darn nice. And this is also a perfect place, you know, to hunker down, maybe sleep a couple extra people with the two lofts. Loft one, loft two. So you got bedroom right there, and then you have bathroom right here. But you know, just kicking back, relaxing, you got window off to the side, kids playing around, and then you have a good you know, TV. It looks like about a 50 inch Jensen. You also have an electric fireplace that's gonna put out uh, enough heat to really heat the entirety of this camper on a pretty moderately chilly day. I've had these on in a couple of my videos and they just get, you know, get, get sweating to be quite honest with you. So you got, this is gonna be the control, you know, for all of your audio, you got HDMI, USB, the works there but I like the way that they switched up the island. So you're gonna have some booths, uh, which are probably gonna be stored up in one of these lofts, I, th I think. But um, I like the way they did the island. You know, it really opens up. I like how it's kind of breathable right there. You know, just having those spokes as opposed to it going, you know, maybe all the way down like a waterfall style. I think it looks really sharp, but a great place, you know, to maybe to log up some pong balls, you know, or something of that nature. You also got your front facing farm style stainless steel undermounted bowl with the high rise faucet whoosh, 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 hitting those old disha roonies from all angles and then right behind it you're going to have kind of enough prepping space you know to get all the cooking done so you got dish space and you got prepping space right there all next to your three stove top burner where you can whip up all the fixings and an enlarged oven right there where you could probably get away with you know maybe a smaller turkey on uh, thanksgiving well, that's pretty cool too Got a little power tower right there. You know, extra power stations never hurt anybody. I know in our family, someone's always screaming about wanting the dang charger for something. Got Oculuses and switches and Game Boys and cell phones. Crazy. Kids are crazy. What happened to riding a bike and going knocking on your neighbor's door? That's what camping's for though. Get them the heck out of the house. Enjoy some nature. So I'm opening up this refrigerator uh, I really like this one. I mean, it's it's split into, you know, it looks like freezer section on the left, refrigerator section on the right. Pretty darn nice. It's got good size, good space. I like the fact that it has individual drawers. I imagine like, you know, some turkey, cheese, whatnot, probably some fruit down there for the little ones. And uh, man, nice little setup. Plus aesthetically, I think it looks pretty pretty snazzy too. So right over here, you're going to get a little bit of a storage in that 42 view. This is where it separates just a little bit. They have their staircase right there um, and the refrigerator right here. But I like the fact that they got a little bit of storage there. You also got your fuse box. So that way, if something isn't working, you know, if the lights aren't turning on, uh, you can check that and it'll glow up nice and good for you. So you got some little accent windows here up in the top. You got an emergency exit, pull, push and plop. This is going to be the control for that fan right there. And let me go ahead and show you the, uh, this loft and the better bathroom real quick. Yeah. So this is going to be your screen door, but you're going to have uh, two of the teddy bear mattresses right under there. Uh, so that way you can lay them up out here, but you got 
the ability to put in a TV, all the plugins, you got two windows. And then I like that little nook area right there just for all the kids, you know, stuff. And then there are your stools. So you got seating for four uh, back down there at the island. Head height on this is going to be probably somewhere around, I'm guessing, three feet or so, maybe just a hair bigger. But you have a really nice size bathroom in this. And that's one of my favorite things about these models is just how big this bathroom is. Bada bing, bada boom. You got some cubbies. I'm six foot, 300 pounds, and I'm standing in this just fine. You got about six one or so in there. So if you're a little bit taller, might be a little shaky. Triglide glass series. A lot of countertop space with the, uh, with the old bowls right there. You got a place for the old bowling gun. Bada bing, bada boom. The old Steam Sucker 3000 is right here to help circulate some of that steam or stink from the shower or from the old plastic throne. And then, man, look at that. Great place to hang up some clothes or you're prepped up for the washer and dryer if that's something that you, uh, that you choose to have. But if you guys have made it this far, uh, if you guys don't mind, hit that like or subscribe button. And if not, drop a comment let me know why. So right here... You got your central vac system and your control panel. But you also got this other loft too. And that's what you can see when it's kind of cleaned up. Uh, you can kind of see what it looks like there. So pretty much the same thing as the other side, except for the fact it doesn't have the storage in the middle uh, on that end. Ow. So storage right here. So for some hanging items, you know, come in, drop a hoodie, drop a coat. But this bedroom is fantastic. These windows are absolutely killer. And I love all the countertop space. And then underneath all of these counters, you're also going to get, you know, storage. And it's going to be pretty similar to that uh, all the way across, you know, the way. Emergency exit. Dracula shade. Outlets, place for a TV. And then you got a couple uh, dresser drawers right there as well. And then, of course, you have windows on both sides of the bed. You got a queen mattress. Storage up above, storage down below, really nice storage down below too. Four more dressers. And then, I mean, check that out, more hanging clothes. But now let's go around the outside, show you where everything is. I know it's a little bit of a quicker tour than usual, but I got a lot of RVs to do and an army to feed at home. 2024 Aspen Trail, 421 Loft. You are going to have one massive awning, and again, the specifications will be down in that description along with the link for that price, but you got a little support bar right there. Dual axle. Outside speakers are going to be located right here and one right behind the door. You also have a plug in there as well. The aluminum steps coming up. A lot of people actually build like a little platform kind of like that and go across the front of these too because you're usually going... Uh, to lake life, you know, or something of that nature. Low point drain, manual stabilizing jacks, and then heading out the back. I would say the height on this thing, I'm just looking at it, it's, it's got to be a 13 4 or something. I mean, this thing's a pretty damn tall uh, camper. On this side, you do get the slide toppers. Love seeing that. So that way, if any debris falls on top, it just rolls right off as you pull your slides in. This is going to be where your dump valves are located, along with your city water connection and your black tank flush, which if you're not familiar with that, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Here's gonna be your other dump valve. Uh, power cord, and this will be access to the back of your refrigerator when you go to you know, winterize and all that, along with your fresh water tank, and then access to your storage that's underneath the bed there as well. Heading around the front, pretty basic, you got the Little uh, safety lights right there, along with two oversized propane bottles. Looks like a 30 pounder and a place to put two batteries that if you would like. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope to catch you next time. Again, my name is Hunter, and this was the 2024 Aspen Trail 421 Loft. See you.